Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whip the Dashes. How to info. You can call it the Warband Diaries, you can call it whatever you want, you can call it the Campaign Trail. Today, we are going to talk about on this video, we are going to talk about how to. Let's just say, if you're new to the game, you don't know what's going on. <clears throat> um, you would like to have some kind of edge. Now, keep in mind, I said edge. Now, we're not online. We are going to be offline. We're going to do the campaign. So, we're going to start a new game. Uh-oh. And I'm, I'm creating a new character for this, this purpose, just because I've got everything set up on my other characters, so I don't want to just mess everything up right now. So we're gonna go ahead and just we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a female for the love of it. And I highly suggest you don't do a female at the beginning of the game if you're very new to the game. Do not pick a female. Females are very hard to gain favor, as in during these times they were not um, prestigious, as you can say. So as we're going on, I'm gonna make things a little bit easier for you because this is video is to help mainly I'm going to cover a lot of things but I'm also going to cover getting started getting started because I never had this idea when I was getting started I kind of YouTube served for a little bit until I found what I needed so we are going to start out as an impoverished noble so we're going to start out on the royalty there because you're going to get a lot of I should say um, steps ahead more than a pagan um, peasant that works on a farm. So it's going to be, you came into the world of a, a daughter of decline and ability, owning on the house in which they live. However, despite your family's hardship, they afforded you a good education and trained your childhood for the rigors of aristocracy and life at court. You started to learn about the world almost as you could talk, you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as. So we're going to have something more royal. So it says, as, I'm, not, I'm just going to skip all that. It says, then as a young adult life changed, as it always does, you became a, hmm, now this ought to be, we'll say, I don't know what a lady in waiting is. I'm going to take that's just, you know, top of the line. Now, it says, but soon everything changed and you decided to strike out your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was... You can say lost of a loved one. We're just going to be the old um, lost of a loved one. Become an adventurer and ride your destiny. Okay, let's go. So we're going to go ahead and choose a banner. Um, won't get this one. That one looks pretty. Okay, it says, well, the game saving policy said realistic, no quitting. Yes, I will always quit and save. It says, now enter your name and distribute your points. So we're just going to name her... Oh man, this is going to be hard. Um, rosy cheeks. How about that? We're just gonna that that's just gonna give us a nice um, starting name. This is just a default character I'm gonna show. So um, I guess this is not going to matter, but I'm gonna go ahead and go over this as we're going into this. Strength, agility, intel, charisma. We're gonna put some points in charisma now, women. And we're going to give her some muscles, right? But we always need some charisma. And later on, you're going to need some intel, a little bit of agility, but we'll go over that in a minute. So, first things first, we need iron flesh. That will j jack up my health points, which is very, very um, important. Power strike, if you're beginning at the beginning of the game, you might want to use it. These will all come later. Um, I'll just put a point in those just for the love of it. Um, leadership, you're definitely going to need leadership. Trade, you will need it later on. Putting a point in it won't hurt. Prisoner management, uh, for what we're about to do, yes. Because I'm going to teach you guys how to get some coin the fast way. And then the unfast way. Engineer, uh, we'll use that later. I'm not really worried about that. Tactics tracking, nah. 
we'll just use, we'll say shield. That'll, that'll help us out in our fighting here. So she's already good at one-handed. Um, let's get a secondary here. I guess we'll do... I like the pole arms. I like the two-handed weapons. They're awesome. Okay, we're done setting up our character here. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, wow. That's a face. My mother can love. I don't know if I can love that face. Okay, there we go. Oh, 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 nasty. Okay, there we go. That's 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 fine for me. We'll just, you know, modify it a little bit. Okay, there we go. So once you get your customized character, now this is going to be very important um, somewhat. For the standards of this video, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to join... Ooh, what shall we join? Now this is going to be interesting. Now, we can join the Kingdom of the Nords, which you're going to, you know, guys don't know what Nords look like. Now the Kurgit Kinnate, they're kind of like the Khans. They are the Chinese Empire kind of looking guys. Um, you got the Kingdom of the Jeers. They're uh, Vagars, however you want to pronounce that. Don't want to be a pronunciation Nazi. Um, they're mixed of everything. They're just a mixed breed. Swadia, I'm you know you've heard of Swahili, obviously. I'm thinking that's kind of Kingdom of Rodux. Now, Rodux are very good because for their spearmen, I know that much. Serenade, they don't have very good armor. Um, you know what? I think we're just going to do Swadia. I think we get a better chance of that because it's not really going to matter once we get started here. Now, this will be at the very beginning, so we can go ahead and go through this here. Somebody's going to attack me. Oh, no. Now, as you're starting in this game, you're not going to be aware. Um, hopefully, you study the controls. Very important. Only because it might save your life. I've got a knife here. Block is your best friend. That's why we just, you know, up the shield. I'm skipping the tutorial because I know how to fight. Nah. He's gone. Ooh. Ooh. And don't forget, you can also pick up equipment on the ground. Oh, wow. I about bashed him in the face. Okay. Merchant, he wants to talk to me. He said, are you all right? You know what? Merchant and Praven, talk, talk, talk. Um, i am just got other things to do, so I'm not really going to care about that. Okay, so, we are starting out as a very young character. Now, we don't have a penny to our name, but we need some gear. We're going to definitely need some gear. We're definitely going to go take on some challenges. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you cannot fight people in cloth. So, we're going to go ahead and move here. Now, this is for campaign purposes. Yeah, 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 we know about the map. Okay, so, since we are at the very beginning, we're at the bottom of the totem pole. We don't have nothing, okay? We are just a little nobody right now. So, we're going to go to the marketplace, and this is just for this purpose. We're going to go to the marketplace. Let's go to the arms merchant. We, we need to arm ourselves. Now, first thing you guys need to know um, for this video, make sure... If you guys are going to play the game, make sure you please configure before you play the game. Configure and enable the cheats because this is going to give you a little bit of edge. It's not going to ruin the game too much. I can assure you a lot of people say, oh, well, these will might ruin the game. It'll ruin the fun. Uh, not really. It'll probably help you more than it will hinder you. So, in that speaking, it's definitely when you're, I mean, it, it's different if you're cheating online, but you're cheating on a I guess you're just giving yourself an extra edge on the game. The game modders gave you this ability. So let's just go get and start and get past the disclaimer here. Now, I need money. Where am I going to get all this money? I only got $200. Now, I need one of these nice little shiny weapons up here if I can hold them. Oh, wow. I don't think I can hold them. Strength 10. See, I should have upped the strength. Now, that's almost $800. So this is what I'm going to do. You hold the control button, press X. Oh, oh, thousand, thousand, thousand. Oh, give me that money. Show me, show me, show me. Oh, I'm just going to spam it for the purpose of this. Look at that. 
I just became rags to riches in seconds. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a sword in there. I'm going to need a shield. Um, we might have something to throw. Because I'm definitely not going to use crossbow. Not at the beginning of the game. I highly suggest you don't, don't mess with the crossbow at the beginning of the game. It's not a very good idea. So, put my shield there. Oh, I've already had a shield. I didn't even know I had that. That's probably shit anyways. What is that? Resistance 2 to resistance 15. Okay, yeah. Makes a big difference. We'll put some javelins on there. Um, damn. What else can I buy? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nope, nope. Can't do that. Look at all these things. These are all high strength. Oh, here we go. I might want to change it up a little bit. So, once I purchase that, there we go. Now let's go to the armor. Let's go gear up real quick. We'll put some elite armor on. Get rid of these rags. Just put that back over there. That'll be the trade. Oh, put a helmet on. Trade it for that. I'm just throwing on some good sh stuff for the time. Yeah, it's going to cost me. Th now you can see money on this game. You're going to be spending a lot of money. So I'm telling you right now, what I'm doing, um, teaching you guys some of the cheats, it is not going to be. Um, it's not going to ruin it. For some, maybe not for all. I mean, if you if you abuse it, there there's such thing as abuse. So we're not going to go into that for the time being. And uh looks like I'm geared up. I think I'm pretty I'm I'm pretty geared up. I think I've got that. I've got my shoes now. Obviously they give you like a beginning horse. I don't think I need anything fancy until you build your riding skill up. It says require. See that little nice require? Yeah, you're gonna re you're gonna require that skill in order to get it. it's green, it's good, so obviously I can wear it. So we got our armor, we got our arms, um we are definitely gonna need some food and I'll explain that here in a second. Because getting food, you're going to need food for your soldiers and uh, keep your people happy, especially when you're making camp and after fighting long battles, you're going to need to keep your army nice and happy. Now, as you can see, it says right down there in that blue plus 8 to party morale. Yeah, the higher your party morale is, much better for you, um, especially when you're first starting out. I don't need to worry about all that. So I got some food, and let's just see if there's any faster. Oh, I can get a better horse. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So we're not going to trade this horse in. We're going to keep him. We are definitely going to keep him for the speed. See how he's got faster speed than this guy right here? Yeah. But this guy's got armor, so for the time being. Okay. Now, let's go to the tavern. This is where I would start if I were you. After gaining some money, that is very, very important. Watchmen. Yes, all right, here, I'll hire you into my party. That's where that leadership is going to come in handy. I don't have any prisoners, so I don't need to talk to him. Not very important. Okay, let's just uh, ask her if she's got any jobs. Now, here's the slow way of making money. That tavern keeper just told me about a bunch of places that are hiring that, you know, if I wanted to get some work somewhere else. I'm not talking to him right now because I don't want to do the quest. So, we are going to leave. Now, I'll keep in mind I'm going to keep these um, cheats in the description to kind of help for those people who did not catch as I'm talking because I'm going somewhat of a fast pace. Now, I don't need to mess with this because for what I'm doing right now, I, I'm just kind of teaching you the fast lane. Now, if I wanted to go make some quick money, and not really quick money, I can just you know slow travel to all these cities here, do quests. On a, well, guess what? I don't want to do it. So I'm going to hit the Control T button. Well, what that does is it shows me where there are parties, bandits, everything. Oh, look at there. There's some looters. Now, how do I get them from where I'm at? I'm I'm way out there in a, the abyss somewhere, and I'm probably not going to be able to catch him because he's moving. They're moving pretty fast. There's four of them. Cool. Now, that's just if I want to go build my character up, but that's not who I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for people with prisoners because I need some troops. I need people. Now, I can go to every city and start recruiting. 
but that might do me some justice, maybe. So let's go over here. Let's go over here to this village right here. It's not really going to matter. Recruit some volunteers. Oh, I got some recruits. Yay. Okay. Wow. So I'll leave the town. Thank you, guys. Now I've got, as you can see, kind of give you guys a little insight. That little nine in parentheses that's telling you how many people is in my party tells you exactly who's in my party. Kind of letting you know how big my party is, which will come in handy later on. That's kind of how I'm kind of showing you guys. You know, looking that control T, it pops up everything and shows me everybody. I want to know where everybody's at on the map. So it says there's six of those guys now. My nine to their six, I'm pretty sure we can take them. But for that purpose, I don't want them. I want to go find some bandits. Now we are going to probably fight some bandits. We're in a much larger party, but don't worry. Never fear. And it looks like I can't find any. Oh no. Oh well. I'll show you just for the purpose of this video. Now. I'm using control and I'm clicking and that's what we call instalocation. I can instant travel without using game time or anything like that. It's going to suck that it's not deteriorating, but whatever. So I can check my party here. Now look at this. Now look at these guys. Now these guys are like peasants practically. So let's say I want to upgrade an army. I'm going to hold control X. Oh, upgrade. Looky there. Now I get to, there's a little decision you get to make. You can turn them into kind of cavalry or crossbowmen. We're going to use archers. Archers are very important in this game. Um, well, lovely. So Control X is party experience points that goes to all your troops. So there we go. We got some militia now. Oh oh oh. Got another now. Now I have to make a decision here. I'm gonna get some footmen. I need some footmen right now. I've got crossbowmen up the ass. Well, not really up the ass, but you get what I'm saying. So we're gonna go ahead and rally those guys up, knock them up. Look at that. Four are ready to be upgraded already. Now you can imagine if I have a large army and I'm sitting here trying to upgrade them all. Oh yeah, that's time consuming. So I'm not really worried about that at this point. Now we're gonna go to man at arms because I'm gonna tell you why. Swadian Knights. Now these guys are awesome to have in your party. You want to have these guys definitely in your party. Calvary is very important. You're going to see why. So, there you have it. I have eight nice, healthy soldiers. And I'm about to go against 17. Actually, you know what? Let's pick another formidable opponent. It may not matter, but whatever. We'll fight 11 of them. Oh, the 17 chose to fight me. Okay, I'll give you nothing but cold steel, you scum. Now, it says I can pull back, leaving some soldiers behind to cover your retreat. Nah, we're not going to surrender, nor we're going to treat. We're not going to order. We do not want to do the manual way. Please do not do the manual way. Make sure your army is large enough to handle that. We definitely don't want to do that. Okay, so the battle's on. Now, I'm not going to do any commands for my army here. You know, you can have some commands. I can tell them to stay back, hold the position. Actually, I can say it right here. But for my purposes, I'm going to tell everybody to charge. Obviously, you guys can set your hotkeys up any way you want. Okay, dude, you've ticked me off. Now, I do not have damage or anything. I do not have any of the uh, on-screen um, displays for the time being. Okay, my guys are getting harassed here. Look at this, look at this. Oh, yeah. Now, since I'm a combat veteran now, I'm going to just approach these guys now. Check this out. This is another battle feature of this game that is very important. Horses do die. 
Oh yes, I said it. They do die. Now this is my cavalry charging. Now my archers aren't supposed to be really charging, but whatever. Now let me see my Swadian knights. My Swadian knights are doing some heavy damage to these guys, and they're not going to be able to take much. Let's we'll see if I can catch this guy. Oh, I got his horse. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can get him again. Yeah, he's gone. Look at that. Look at that. Let's chop that. I don't like that horse. Down he goes. Yeah. Animal brutality. Peter would surely have my ass. Now. Oh, I missed the swing on him. Now, my archers, see, they get, these guys got horse archers, which aren't really effective against the knights. And I don't know if I just made that shot on that dude or not, but I think that was a hell of a shot. Look at that, look at that. Okay, all our guys are all spread out, and they're charging the enemy, so our last guy, it seems to me, is over here somewhere. We'll follow our troops. Oh, yeah, we got company over here. Maybe. Maybe. Where are you guys going? You guys ain't gonna, you know, tell me where you're going? Just gonna go do what you want? Okay, well, since I'm your boss. Ah, there we go. Taking me to the land of the unknown. Two left, huh? Two left. We're gonna have to get up right now. Tricky is holding a sword while you're riding cavalry. It's not the easy thing to control on this horse. Oh, he's dead. Look at that battle one. Those four knights. Let's see. Well, let's see what our casualties were. None. Oh my gosh! Wow, isn't that amazing for a four-man party. Now look at all this loot we just acquired. Oh, I'm definitely take. I always take. I don't know. I'm. I'm, I'm just addicted to taking horses. And we got some new bow. We got some, ooh, another a lance. Oh, that might be useful. Let's say we can just, I'm good at throwing javelins, but we can just use the lance for those tricky guys that try to get away. So I'm going to stock up on these horses. Now, my bag isn't that big, which you guys will see. In a minute, I'm about to fix all of that. Jards are pretty awesome. Carriage and armor, nah. nah. Now most of all this is trash. Now this is this is an easy way to make some simple cash as well. If you want to go, just grab all the loot. Ooh, I might want to take that sword. I'll just take that sword. Looks like a pretty one. I can take a mace, but maces don't do anything. They just knock people unconscious. You want to kill people. You don't want to knock them unconscious. Unless you want to take them as prisoner. That's a whole nother ball game. So it says my party leveled up. Well, obviously my party is already leveled up. You can't really level them up more than what you can. So, now, let's say I'm having problems. If I'm having complete problems with my character, I'm going to go to my character tab here, and I'm going to hit Control L. Watch this. Oh, wow. Instant level. Four, look, now I'm gaining four levels every time. Look at that. Look at that. Now, I'm going to show you. I'm going to give them up to me. Uh, that should be good enough. Advisement on the control L, which is instant level up. Um, do not do it past 62. Now, I've done a character past 62. And I have not experienced bugs yet, but I would not recommend it for this video's sake. This is just kind of kind of give you a heads up um, about using some of these cheats, mods, whatever. So... We are going to jack our strength up for this bad beauty. Maybe put one in agility. Man, that affects shield and all that. No, whatever. I don't care. Intelligence. Intelligence will become... Intelligence will be really important later on. Because this is all your like party skills, engineer, surgery, wound treatment. No, that'll be all whatever. We need to get charisma and strength up. Because charisma is your leadership, so... Leadership increases your party. Yeah. You just don't want to make anybody mad. So I'm going to increase prisoner management. Um, wound treatment. Party healing speed. Yes, yes, yes. We'll do that. Um, 
power strike, power throw. We'll do weapon master. This this increases our proficiencies over here. Jacks them all the way up. You want that? You don't have to put any too many points into it. athletics. Uh, I'll just put one point in there. So we'll do. Let's see here. Where are we where are we at right now? We'll, we'll keep on going on leadership till we cannot do it anymore. Engineer. That's going to be very helpful, especially when you're sieging. Um, that might help. Surgery is just kind of, um, if you get in a fight, better chance of your soldiers getting wounded than killed, which is a very good thing. It saves you money, saves you all kinds of inventory management. That's what we want. We're going to keep on jacking that thing up. I'm just going to put one point. Now, this is a 10 point scale, so more points, better. Iron Flesh, that's going to knock up my health a little bit. Definitely want all the HP you can get. Um, athletics, yeah, yeah, yeah. As you guys can read on, you guys can see exactly what it benefits uh, benefits you. I'm just giving you the heads up on some of these skills. I'm just gonna throw some extra points in here. I have like over 200 something on points for the time being. I'm just gonna just give her all kinds of points here two-handed weapons oh yeah now as you use the weapons the proficiency goes up so you don't really have to um, worry about any of that so we're just gonna knock these up I'm gonna just put these at 50 for the time sake I'll, I'll come back to these I still got attribute points to acquire here I guess I can balance everything out but I like the strength because of the weapons now there we go I think that's enough for right now. We'll just spam the crap out of throwing. I love throwing things. Don't ask me why. And we got four more skill points. Can we go to leadership? Yes, we can. Let's go to inventory management if we can. Yes, yes. Um, persuasion. That might be help. That's going to be helpful later in the political campaign. Um, or the political part of the campaign will become useful to you if you're trying to conquer politics. There are such ways without technically fighting other, every realm for the piece of property. Okay, so we're going to be done with that. Now I'm going to show you here another little quick, I want to say modification as I call it, because it's very helpful if you are in trouble. So, I think that 11 group is too small for our ta for our liking. Oh, wow, they attacked us. Okay, fine. You want some? Come get it, dude. My 9 versus your 11. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Now, I'm going to tell these guys to hold here real quick. Gives my archers time to move up. Alright, cavalry. Hold the position. Now I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to take some damage here because this this only works if I'm taking damage. Yeah, come on, hurt me, hurt me, hurt me. Is that all you guys got? Okay. Charge. Get them, guys. They're not doing nothing to me. Well, I guess that's not my fault, is it? We'll just lance that guy right in the ass. I'm trying to get his horse. That's the most effective way to knock somebody off. You don't want people on cavalry. Cavalry is the first thing you take out. Yeah, there he's he's down. Oh, come here. Come here. Stay still so I can slice your head off. Down he goes. They still have not taken my health yet. That's kind of weird. Yeah, chase him off. Now look at him. He's gone now. There's no way we're going to catch him. Oh, yeah. Victory, victory, victory. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know, I know. Now I'm going to bypass all that loot and all this juicy stuff I could just take for myself. 
take the spear out. Ooh, I got 170. So every time you fight some money, you gain a little extra coin. Nothing will matter. I need to find a larger party. I need to show you guys some, two more little tricks, and then we will conclude this video. Oh, oh. I don't want desert desert guys. Ten, ten, six. I need a large party here. I may have to go pick a fight with a lord. Oh no. Even better. Control C as I clicked over here across the map. I might catch him. Yep, I have a smaller group, so it's not gonna take me long. Oh yes, prepare to die. Seventeen against my nine. This might be uh, Hold on, guys. Don't get ahead of yourself. Do not get ahead of yourself. Now, we're in the open sand. So, I'm going to keep my guys back there for a minute. Because I need some people to hurt me. There you go. Look at this. These guys are barely pinpricking me. Told you all that gear I've got. And I'm, you know, I've got plenty of health. Yeah, we're going to battle. We are going to battle. Now, as you can see, my health is deteriorating a little bit. Oh, get off your horse. You guys are making me mad. I'll take another one out. Yeah, get off. You are not going to last a sword fight with me, dude. Yeah, I will chop you up into little minuscule pieces. Look at that, right across the neck. This is me holding the button down, doing a power strike. Like I said, the most important thing. Now, as you can see... I've got the little horse icon right under my icon over there in the right bottom of the score, and that's our health. Now watch this. Now if I hit the control H, oh looky there, I just jacked up my health. Now all these cheats that I'm teaching you guys are the only ones I really use in case of emergencies. Other than that, you know, I built myself up to that point where I don't have to really worry about a whole lot. Now, I've got my guys standing their ground here. Hopefully, we're not losing anything. Doesn't look like I've lost any soldiers yet. Now, obviously, I can't do the the horse health cheat. I know you guys want to look that up on YouTube. Go right, be my guest. Now, let's just say my the party is overwhelming me. And I can't do nothing about it. So, I'm going to hit control F4, and I think those guys are gone now, watch this, I'll do an instant win, see that guy just right in the background just flop off his horse, control F4, instant knock a random enemy unconscious, now if there's a huge army heading your way and you ain't got a big army, you just want to win the fight. You want to win that battle, you want to take it on, and take on the loot, whatever, instantly. You are a god. Well, just of the battlefield for that time being. Now, ooh, we get our first couple prisoners there. Nice, nice, nice. I don't need any of this stuff. The desert horse might be nice. Those are good for speed. Really good for speed. I should have took one of their bows, but that's all good. So, here's another little uh, wonderful thing I can do here. I'll show you guys right off the bat. Oh yes, we are going to take you guys out. <laughs> We 
we are going to take you on. Now I could stay back there by my little inventory bag, but I'm going to go ahead and charge for the time being. Only because I think that I can help take these guys out. Now when cavalry meets cavalry, it can get ugly. Yeah, you better run. backhand you dude now just for this purpose watch this let's say he's whooped on me so bad that I can't even get him on because you will get surrounded by enemies at some time at one time and you want to be able to keep your soldiers alive so look at this instantly another victory oh victory you won again now here's the difference I had no casualties, but three wounded means they survived. And I get to take them as prisoner. That's what wounding them and knocking them unconscious compared to killing. Killing is knocking them out completely. Um, they give me some arrows. Negative two damage. Oh, I just took all that garbage for nothing. But anyways, thank you guys very much for watching this video and giving you guys a little insight of getting started in the game and I will have more videos to come so thank you very much and you guys have a wonderful day